following episode is brought to you by Endurance Sport 24, because training is only a portion of the equation to great sports performance. Nutrition is the other portion. Are you getting your proper nutrition? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're going to be making brunch, which cannot go wrong on a weekend after a long training day or um, even if you work from home. It's perfect to have for breakfast. So we're going to make a simple omelet um, along with a beet pancake. I had asked on my Facebook page if I could get some requests for ingredients that people are afraid of and beets was one of them. So we're going to go over the ingredient list. I'm going to show you um, what we have here really quick. Um, we're going to start off with three eggs for our omelet along with some spinach and arugula. I already grated one small beet. I have garbanzo bean flour as well as egg whites. And that's how we're going to form the beet pancakes, similar to a latka, basically. And uh, being that we're right around the holidays, it's that time of the year, so that's what we're going to do. Something in that uh, vein. Um, we're not going to use sour cream since uh, I don't consume dairy, but if you do, please feel free. With beets, what I'm going to have next to it is a little bit of horseradish mustard. I think they go very well together. And then on top of my omelet, I'm going to have um, so sira some sriracha sauce. Uh, what I recommend with the beet is that you cut the outer edges of it off with a sharp knife uh, and then get either a glove or a dish towel that you don't care about to throw away because otherwise it's going to bleed all over it. It's going to turn it bright red. Um, and so that's what's going to uh, give you some red dye on your hands. And I actually have a little bit on my hands right now. You can see my fingertips are red from holding the beets. Um, so I'm going to combine these ingredients right now, get them going, and then uh, the next shot will showcase them being in the frying pan for you so you can see how that goes. Okay. So at this point, I have used a little cooking spray on two pans, uh, one for the omelet, one for the beet pancakes as they start to cook up. What I did was uh, I used two tablespoons of garbanzo bean flour and about a eighth of a cup, quarter of a cup of egg whites, combined it really well with the shredded beets, and then just used a spoon so I wouldn't get my hands messy uh, and dropped them into the pan, and I'll show you that in a second. And then I beat the three eggs really well, got a lot of air into them. Some people will add milk. That's more than fine. I don't think it's necessary. If you can whip them really well, get uh, a lot of air into them. As you're beating them with a fork, they'll be more than fine. I don't touch my omelet. I don't flip it over. I don't mess around with it. I put it in a hot pan, and I let it set. I let it cook. Uh, it'll cook all the way through. The edges will get nice and uh, toasty golden brown, and they'll look perfect. And then you just add your toppings in, fold it over, slide it onto a plate. So I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of what our food looks like right now. So you can see here, uh, if I can get to it, the potato pancakes, or excuse me, the beet pancakes as they're going. I've got three there, and then you can see the omelet once I get my arm out of the way. Really simple to do. Just let it set. It'll do all the cooking on its own. You don't need to worry about it. Um, it'll, it'll cook up. It'll cook all the way through. Create a nice crust on the bottom. It'll be thin. It won't be one of those super fluffy omelets that you get at the uh, local diner. This is going to be thin, almost crepe-like. Uh, I like it that way. I think it's easier to handle. And this way, um, I don't have to worry about flipping it and getting an egg all over my kitchen. I really just let it. Set it and forget it, as Ron Popeil would say, I guess, right? So I'm going to uh, tend to my beets here. They sound like they're getting ready to want to be flipped as they're getting golden and brown on one side. I'll flip them over and cook them on the other side for another three to five minutes. They've been on this side for about three to five minutes already. Uh, the omelet, all in all, will probably take close to uh, five minutes, uh, five to ten minutes to cook all the way through. You want to make sure you cook it all the way through too, um, so that when you add your toppings, all you got to do is flip it over and you pretty much can serve it right from there. I've already got a plate set up, so uh, when we come back, I will show you the finished products. So they're all done cooking, and uh, they look delicious and they smell even better. This is one of those instances where you need a scratch and sniff, smell a vision type of thing because the aroma is incredible and you know when you get this smell, you know that brunch is being served. Um, plus, I've got a little bit of coffee 
waiting for me in the back there. Um, this is perfect. I just got back from swimming uh, about 2,000 yards, mostly drills. Uh, so as anybody knows, when you're working out, you get that hunger strike. This is a perfect meal for you to really get that energy back, replace those uh, carbohydrate levels, get some protein in you from the eggs, um, and really get a well-balanced meal for the most part, you know, when you're looking at fat from the eggs and uh, serving of vegetables in your beets, and um, plus it looks pretty. I mean, look at the colors in there. So you've got um, the horseradish mustard on top of the beet cakes. You've got spinach and arugula inside of the omelet along with some sriracha. You got to have sriracha. You got to have a little heat. So yeah, I have horseradish heat and I've got sriracha heat. That's how I do it. Um, but I can't wait to dig into this. And I want to say thank you again for joining me. If you have any requests for a particular ingredient, uh, go to my Facebook page at facebook.com backslash cook, train, eat, race, and leave me a message there. Uh, we're going to be doing something with turnips real soon, uh, as that was posted on there, as well as something different with quinoa than your typical oatmeal type of thing, or just lower uh, loading it, excuse me, with uh, tons of roasted vegetables. So um, we're going to have a couple more of these episodes coming up based on that, but please feel free to... Leave me your ideas on an ingredient that you're having trouble cooking with, something you want to do, and, and I'll go to uh, great lengths to do what I can to make sure that it's something that you can serve uh, to your family and friends when you get the chance. So once again, thank you very much for being a part of this show, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Have a great day.